Hi all, so this video will look at how are the lungs adapted for gas exchange. So first of all we need to remind yourself of the structure of the lungs and the best way I can um, do this for you is to think of a tree. So air enters through an upside down tree which would be the trunk. This trunk is known as the trachea, so it's a tube and it is supported by rings of cartilage. So this stops it from collapsing um, during breathing or ventilation. Then it branches out into two thick branches and they are the bronchi. And then further branches in each lung are called the bronchioles. So these are like branches on the tree. So you start off with the trunk, then the branch, and then further branches are the bronchioles until it reaches the end of these branches where there's tiny little air sacs called the alveoli. So you could just imagine this as being the leaves of the tree. These are air sacs and these are the site of gases exchange. So let's have a little look at one of these air sacs up close. Air enters them and they are surrounded by a blood vessel called capillaries. So blood, one um, uh, red blood cell can pass along through a capillary at a time. So you can't have uh, their one cell, one red blood cell white. Now remember, the air is full of oxygen. So oxygen diffuses into the blood where there's less of it. Because the body cells have undergone respiration, there will be a lot of carbon dioxide in the blood. However, there'll be less in the, in the alveoli or in the air, so carbon dioxide diffuses out of the blood. And that is essentially a gas, gas exchange. It's the exchanging of carbon dioxide for oxygen. Now, there's adaptations for alveoli to do this function. So the alveoli wanted the rate of diffusion to be as fast as possible. And the first thing that they have is that there's millions of alveoli in the lungs. So with millions of them, this increases the surface area and also the rounded shape increases the surface area and therefore allows faster rate of diffusion. Now, if we remind yourself of the structure again, we can see that the alveoli have a very thin wall. Um, so the distance for diffusion is very short and therefore increases the rate of diffusion. The alveoli are also surrounded with blood capillaries and this ensures that any oxygen that diffuses into the blood is rapidly removed, keeping the concentration gradient as steep as possible. So the minute the carbon dioxide is swapped for oxygen, it moves on. And more blood that has a higher concentration of carbon dioxide moves in and gas exchange occurs again. So some key words just to note from this is diffusion, um, surface area, thin walls and concentration gradient. Hopefully this makes more sense to you.